Good morning folks, it's all about motorbikes here. It is Saturday the 25th of August and I'm out uh, on another ride out and I'm going to Rosedale at the moment to meet up with a fellow motor vlogger Graham Calvert, Adventures with Woody for another little tour and he's touring up my neck of the woods this time and I'm going to show him all around. So at the moment I'm on the North Yorkshire Moors heading over to Rosedale Abbey. Just past the, uh, the village of Cropton. On my way to Rosedale to uh, meet Paul Mann. Well, we're approaching Rosedale, folks. And this is the way we'll end up coming out as we head on our little tour today. What a beautiful place this is. Rosedale Abbey. So, just coming into the village of Rosedale on a very bumpy road. Oh, God, it's a bumpy one. So what we're doing now is, that's that turn, that takes you up Chimney Bank. And we're now looking out for Paul, who should be around this corner somewhere, if I'm guessing right. Yeah. Do you know what? Ah, oh, no, he's there. I can see him. So, Paul in the lead. Well, that's group me and Graham now on our little uh, tour again. Had a nice coffee and a chat in Rosedale Cafe. And it's actually really good to uh, meet up with him again and do a, a little ride around my area and my neck of the woods. Because after this, we're going to arrange another ride out round his neck of the woods that is one hell of a view the road I've definitely never been on this bit before so it's lovely I'm actually I don't know 50 miles from home and I'm exploring new roads and we're going to come out to open moorland just after these trees and not so far up this way is the line in on top of Blakey Ridge but when we get to the end of this road we're turning right towards Castleton and Blakey Ridge is over there you can see over there is uh, Blakey Ridge uh, the line in it's quite a desolate little pub Old summits. Oh, you can see the sea. Well, I can. Oh, wow. It's panoramic, and the course is. This camera's not going to do it any favours at all. I'll leave it on for a minute or two, just to let you get a, get a flavour of it. Wow. That is quite amazing. Uh, look at that, that valley down there. What do you reckon folks? Isn't it amazing, eh? Absolutely stunning. And here we have the village of Castle. Look at the views here. It's got a lovely little pub at the bottom. Castleton. I've definitely never been here before, I don't recognise it. 
sort of had, I haven't. The down arms. Towards Gisborough. And I know I've been to Gisborough because I've been there with the ambulance. I know I have. I've got all of a feeling this could be another 50 minute nightmare. <laughs> but I, it's like, look at that, look at that, wow, look at this. You know, and, 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 and it's like, I don't want to produce a 20 minute vlog when it, it's, if it's 50 minutes long, it's 50 minutes long. And if folk don't want to watch it, well, they can turn it off when they get bored, can't they? But I know there's a lot of you who love to watch them to the end. I, I got in this culture of, you know, oh, it's got to be eight or nine minutes, you know, otherwise people won't watch it. But, um, no. You'd be amazed how keen folk are to watch. And it's very flattering that you like what I do. And I have to say thank you very much. What do is stop up here and show Graham the smallest church, which we consider to be the smallest church uh, in England. As to whether it is or not, it's debatable. I don't know for sure. But we will stop, and uh, hopefully, if there's a place to stay. There's a very small church here which is considered to be one of the smallest churches in England. Is that? Just here, yeah. I so I'd show you it before we got to uh, Saltburn. Paul's just stopped on this corner here and apparently this is one of the smallest churches. Where did he say? In the country. Oh man, look at that! Ah. Yeah? I'll just take my ignition keys out. <clears throat> I love this kind of exploring. Oh my word, look at that! I wonder how old it is. Isn't it strange? My God, yeah, it's, yeah, it's tiny. Yeah. Hi. What's the nearest village? It's where? Up. Up Leesham. Up Leesham. Because there's a burial there, 1979. It's a modern burial, isn't it? So it's obviously, yeah. We've got a church yard like this with a chapel in it which is the same thing it's disused but my god that's amazing there's something at the bottom there isn't they look that's quite incredible yeah She was hanging on for grim death. Yeah, she's terrified. Now here's something I couldn't have done this, this time last year. Climb over a wall. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, and I'm not even sure I can now. Yep. <laughs> it was run off all over. My God, this has got some age in it. Uh, but I would think originally it was thatched. Oh, I'll tell you something else, it's buttresses are on the outside. Yeah. Buttresses on the outside. That look, That's a Saxon sign. So we've just been in that uh, little churchyard and I wanted to show Graham what I consider to be one of the smallest churches in this country. I don't know whether it is, but it's really small. If anyone knows of a smaller one, please let me know. Fantastic view of the sea. This is Saltburn. I've never been here. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. And it's famous. It's 
got a wonderful little old fashioned little miniature railway which I'm quite interested to take a look at and uh, not too far from uh, where Paul lives I'm not about to tell you where he lives so that wouldn't be fair but uh, this is the area that uh, you'll see him riding around so I'll, I'll go so far as to say that and that used to be a grand hotel that place I mean look at the size of that the Zetland Hotel that used to be It's the most overwhelming smell of fish and chips. <laughs> oh, we've got a beer. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is definitely different. What oh, a spectacular entrance to a little town. Loving it. Stay out like grip. Oh, this is just superb! <laughs> Way with Labrador. Beautiful, isn't it? iPhone footage just for a bit of variation. This wonderful beach. Saltburn by the sea, Paul. Yes. Yeah. And it's got a pier. And look at this. It's a water powered vinicular railway. And I, I said I'd never been here before, but do you know when I saw that? I had a strange feeling of deja vu, like I'd been here when I was a real little boy. I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever been here before. Lovely place though, lovely place. And a wonderful smell of fish and chips, which is where we're going now. 